Yo guys, hey, how are you doing? Today we will see how to Warren Buffett. What do I mean by that? Like, you probably know there is one of the most influential and one of the most richest people in the world today, Warren Buffett. His net worth is around 126 billion dollars. That is 126 and then nine zeros after that extremely rich. So today I wanted to check if he's that smart to do that's, you know, complicated investments that most people think he was doing, or he just put his money in a simple index and just held it for 81 years because he started investing in 1941 when he was 11 years old. Now he's almost 92 years old. So he was investing for 81 years old, right? And that is extremely long period of time. So in this video, I want to check if he is like smart, super smart investor, obviously he is. But if that contributed a lot to what he's having now to his net worth, or he just could put his money into a simple index like S&P 500 and just hold it for that long amount of time, like 82 years old. And today I'm gonna check, is it possible for us, for a normal human to do things like that? Because it's super interesting. So totally he bought six shares, three for himself and three for his sister. And spending for that six shares around $228. Not around, exactly $228. Today I wanted to check if it's possible to invest that $228 and hold it for 81 years and what will happen to that money and if it's possible to become rich like Warren Buffett right now. So I went to a calculator and I invested $228 for 81 years at the average return rate of 10.49%. This is the average return rate for S&P 500 index since 1926 until 2021. And actually in 1926 there was not even an S&P 500 index, it was created later on. But in 1923 there was created index tracking 233 companies and then later on S&P 500 was created in 1957, tracking 500 companies, as we already know, that is S&P 500. But at that time when he started investing, there was not even S&P 500, right? But there is another index and the average annualized price and return rate for that was 10.49% annually, all right? We'll take that as our return rate for all that 81 years and we'll compound it annually, right? So. After these 81 years, our $228 will turn $736,000. So most of it will be our interest. And if you take a look at the graph, it's like super exponential, right? Because <laughs> it's a super long period of time, like 81 years. This is extremely amazing. But even though these $228 turned into something like $700, $36 is still not even close to what Warren Buffett's owing right now because his net worth is around $126 billion right now. So it's much, much higher than what we've got from investing just $228 in a simple index. So what I tried is to input additional contributions in the end of each month to get approximate amount what he's having right now and see how much we need to add these contributions each month. So I calculated again and I've got $350,000 of monthly contributions. And obviously this is too much, right? And so not everyone can do that, but the end balance I've got from that is somewhere about what he's having right now. Not exactly, but so additional contributions of $350,000 each month. This is quite a lot and this is giving to us a clue that he's not just a patient person who was waiting for his investment to grow and even contributing a small amount of money. He was actually contributing large amounts of money, right? So we can understand by that that he's not just average investor and he's not just a patient person or lucky person. He was making huge amounts of money and investing them to the index. But still, this information is giving us a clue that even investing a small amounts and contributing zero or contributing 
smaller amounts each month will give us in the end high returns like as we've seen before seven hundred thousand dollars is just it's pretty good amount right and obviously you can invest more than 228 dollars but speaking about investors great amount and the returns overall returns over a large period of time is playing your character right how much patient you are and how much you are sure about your investments and simply putting your money in a simple index is not enough for most of us we want to make more money but the truth is that investing is a thing for saving your money primarily and then getting a reasonable returns not gaining your money right so investing is saving your money and you can focus in making money while your money is being saved and getting additional gain from that investment thing because you're patient and you're intelligent investor i hope this was kind of useful to you this video please like it and subscribe see you in the next video bye